Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Sparky and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what is the easiest VPN to use in 2022. What VPN is best for new users in 2022? This video is for people out there brand new to VPN. And it's also out there for people who don't want a VPN that is fiddly, janky, or just a little bit confusing, or requires extra steps. This VPN that you're looking for is going to have a certain amount of things that will make it easier. And that's how I'm going to pick the easiest VPN of 2022. So let's get into what I would deem the necessary requirements. Hey guys, before we get off to what is the easiest to use VPN in 2022 and what qualifies it to be that, make sure to check the link in the description and pin comment below for the VPN I'm going to recommend in this video. Check out that link, click on it, and you'll help support the channel. But you also get a pretty good discount on the two-year deal for that VPN. So let's go ahead and discuss that VPN in this video. So guys, the number one thing you're going to be looking for for easy-to-use VPN is going to be a super easy first time setup. Now this could mean a couple different things, but basically it means that when you're purchasing the VPN, um, it's going to give you an account. And once you have that account, you should be able to log into the VPN on your computer a certain way. I think there should be one or two options. Either you copy and paste the code and log in that way, or when you launch the VPN, it's going to bring open a website and you can log into the VPN with the same credentials that you kind of made while getting the VPN or you have e emailed to you. This is going to make it very easy to set up the VPN. Some VPNs require you more to like remember the password and stuff like that, or they take a long time to send the password. Um, it kind of depends on the situation with each VPN. Now, one of my favorite VPNs on the channel, TorGuard VPN, which is a very strong VPN service. What it does is that it actually has a client login and a website login. This can be good for security in some ways um, because it's harder for someone to steal your account access. However, for new users, it can be confusing managing these passwords and it makes setting it up for the first time a little bit tricky. So one thing I like about NordVPN, for example, is that when you launch the application for the first time, you're greeted with something like this. Basically, all you have to do is click log in, and then it's going to take you to the website account. You pretty much pick your email or go, go to the account that created, and it just logs you in like that. As long as you're logged in already on the website, which you should be since you just purchased it, it's already going to log you in like that and log you into the application. So that's pretty cool. Now, another thing we're looking for for an easy to use VPN would be good tutorials. Not every VPN has helpful integrated tutorials within the application. I'm looking for VPNs that show you how to use them, have tutorials built in that help you guide you and figure out the VPN application. Uh, now, once again, we're going to be looking at NordVPN as a good benchmark here because they do some pretty cool things here in terms of usability. Number one is that they're encouraging you to change your password, which is kind of cool. Um, it's probably the only VPN I've seen that encourages you to change your password once in a while, which is nice to keep your account secure. So that's pretty cool. But outside of that, we can see a good tutorials within the application. And here is the tutorial system I'm talking about. You can find it down here in the bottom left. So this is a pretty cool thing. And one reason I think NordVPN is a good VPN for new users, it kind of goes through the application itself. It kind of runs you through how to use it. And one reason it could have been designed this way is because NordVPN realizes that it's kind of marketed itself towards a wide swath of audience with varying degrees of uh, computer knowledge. So basically it's going to tell you first things first on how to connect. It's going to talk about auto connect features, how to protect your data with a kill switch, and turn on threat protection, stuff like that. You can also set up two-factor authentication and the dark web feature, which is cool. This section also kind of gives you a couple different interfaces and ways to turn on the features, which is actually unique and something I've never seen before. You can also kind of boost your score and finish out some of these features to use NordVPN to its full capacity. So in a way, NordVPN's tutorial system is effectively a sort of master guide to the application and it's actually a pretty cool thing that makes it super easy to use. Now, outside of that though, NordVPN itself is just very easy to use as it is. Not necessarily that any VPN is hard to use, but it's fluid, it works well, and it connects super quickly as you could see there. 
It's nice that there's no hang up. Some VPNs are really like, like Torgord, have a certain amount of hang up time when connecting, disconnecting, and sometimes changing servers or connecting to different things requires you to disconnect away sometimes and stuff like that. Additionally, some VPNs prevent you from looking at the settings while connected and NordVPN isn't gonna do that. So overall, it's extremely easy to use. You can search for servers and stuff like that and even look at specific servers, load time and that kind of thing. It also is a nice visual interface to decide where to connect to and you can even connect based on that, which is also a cool region thing. So you can kind of use this visual way to connect to things, which is also pretty cool. It's actually fully interactive. So if we wanted to connect to Japan, all we have to do is click Japan over here and we're connected that quickly. Pretty nice. As far as I know, this is one of the few interactive interfaces out there that exists that you can use in this way, which is very nice for new people who want a more visual idea of, you know, how they're using the VPN service. Another component of a good user-friendly VPN for new people is a big community. NordVPN does certainly have that. There's a huge community on their subreddit slash r slash NordVPN. As far as I know, it isn't run by the company itself, but by volunteers, and they even have a Discord channel. You can check this subreddit and get questions answered, but even NordVPN nowadays has really good customer support, which is also a, a thing that we're looking for for a user-friendly, easy-to-use VPN in 2022. In my test, NordVPN responded pretty quickly within an hour, which is excellent, and they do have live chat as well, so overall, it meets that mark too. Now, guys, if you haven't tell, I do think that NordVPN is probably my pick for someone who is brand new to VPN. It's extremely usable in terms of making it easy to log in, having good tutorials, really good usability and flexibility, and it's very big VPN, which means there's a lot of people talking about it, a lot of potential people out there to help you with it, with various communities and pretty good support options. It's not necessarily the top rated VPN on the channel because there are other VPNs out there that are a little bit cheaper and can offer similar features or perhaps have a little bit better privacy policies in terms of stuff like backend trackers and stuff like that using a little bit more privacy friendly things like open source analytics. But overall, NordVPN is very easy to use and perhaps the easiest to use VPN in my opinion in 2022. Other VPNs aren't necessarily hard to use per se, but there are a couple little things you have to work around. Like I said, some VPNs have multiple app logins that are different from website logins. Um, sometimes certain apps have a little bit of hang up when connecting or disconnecting or preventing you from looking at settings or switching services easily. And some VPNs don't have as big of communities either, which makes it a little bit tricky to find resource pages, help or stuff like that. And they also might not have as good at tutorials. Anyways, guys, that's just my opinion. If you want to help support the channel and you want to purchase NordVPN, find the link in the description or pinned comment down below. And I'll see you again very soon.